I saw this integral on YouTube. I have uh, different methods, two, two methods, and I want to share with you. Now, the first method, I multiply the numerator and the denominator both by 1 minus tangent x. So the denominator becomes 1 minus tangent square. Right? Then I split this integral into two. One is a 1 over that. The other one is a tangent over that. So there's I1 minus I2. I1 is uh, uh, dx over 1 minus tangent square. And then, um, then I multiply the, both the denominator and uh, numerator by tangent uh, cosine square. Cosine square. This denominator will become cosine square minus sine square. Yeah. Then I use a, a double angle formula for cosine, which is equal to one half one plus cosine two x dx. The numerator is a cosine square minus sine square. Then then uh, it becomes two integral. The first one is uh, one half and uh, one over cosine square minus sine square. All right, this the x and um, plus one half cosine two x. Cosine x square minus sine square. And we know that cosine square minus sine square is cosine 2x. So this one is equal to half cosine 2x. Yeah. The x, this. This is also cosine two x, and it becomes one. Yeah. Then I change this one into uh, secant two x. I write dx for d two x. This is a half x, right? And this becomes a one quarter. This integral is a log secant two x plus tangent two x plus half x plus c one. Okay, that is in I one. Now I two. I two is a. Uh, Tangent over that. Uh, tangent x dx one minus tangent square. Now for that one, I can multiply two here and uh, divide by two, right? Just make him just maintain the equal sign. And uh, then this is a this is a tangent two x. This is a tangent two x. Tangent two x is a two tangent over one minus tangent square. And I write 
dx as a one half d two x. Then this becomes a one quarter log a secant two x plus c two. Then my i is equal to i1 minus i2. Okay. So this one is equal to i1 is this. 1 quarter log secant 2x plus tangent 2x plus half x plus one quarter log secant two x plus c. Now minus uh, minus. Now this and that same same coefficient, so it's common fact one quarter log positive on top and negative on the bottom. And plus half x plus c. And I write it half x first. Then plus one quarter log this over that is a one. This over that is a sine. Sine two x. That is the result of uh, this integral by by method one. Okay. Now method two. Method two, <clears throat> uh, this is a dx, one minus tangent x. Tangent, uh, the second method, just start with uh, multiply the cosine, uh, both top and the bottom, plus sine. Then this is a cosine plus sine dx. The numerator is cosine x plus sine x. You know my intention, right? Try to reduce with the denominator. And I have, but I have the balance for a equal sign. So then a plus cosine minus sine. So in that, I have a two cosine, sine cos, two cosine, and the sine sine cancel out. So I multiply half, then it's equal. Right? So this becomes a half. The first one is Become a dx after canceling this one, right? And uh, plus one half cosine plus sine and uh, cosine minus sine. And this one is a half x. plus one half cosine plus sine. Now, cosine is the derivative of a sine. Negative sine is a derivative of a positive cosine. So this becomes a 
half x plus half log of cosine plus sine. See, that is a, a result of a, a integral by, by a second method. See, this method is a very short. I believe this is the best method, the best method in terms of uh, its simplicity. Okay, this is a result of method of two. <clears throat> This is the result of method of one. Well, are they the same? Yeah, they should be the same. Now let me let me change this one. Okay, one one quarter one plus sine two x. That is, this one is equal to one quarter log sine square x plus cosine square x plus 2 sine x cosine x, right? Sine 2x is a 2 sine cosine. So that is a perfect uh, sine x plus cosine x square, right? Okay, this is a perfect square. And this two could be written in the front, so it becomes a one half. One half uh, uh, log sine plus cosine. Yeah, that proves that this result is the same as that one. Yeah. So these are the same result. But the the second method is uh, far better than the other methods. This is the best method. Thank you.